impale Zeus with his own thunderbolt and steal it and run away. Oh, impaling people and stealing their belongings is tight. No, it's... Oh, my God. No. That won't hold up God, in court, no. by the way. That wasn't an official oh, admission God. or confession. All right. Hey guys, my name's Dan and today's reaction is the brand new pitch meeting. This is Thor Love and Thunder pitch meeting. So I'm very excited to talk about this and I'm probably going to give my thoughts and opinions uh, throughout this video, probably mostly at the very end. And I will explain to you guys why my opinion sort of changed after watching the movie and it's not in the way that you think. So uh, if you enjoy other pitch meetings, I've reacted to many of them for you to enjoy. And if you want to see future reactions that I do, you can go right below this video, click that like button, the subscribe button, every notification bell. Not only does it allow you to see past, present, and future reactions that I do, but it also helps the old algorithm. And then going over and support pitch meeting and Ryan George's channel. I'll leave both of those links down in the description. And without any further ado, let's go. So, you have a new Thor movie for me? Yes, sir, mm -hmm. I do. And let me tell you, he's dumber than ever. Oh, okay. Yeah, just real. He's not smart at all, this guy. All right, well, I can't wait to see him team up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, we kind of ended Endgame with them uh, taking off onto Adventure uh, together. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, sir, the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in this. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, just uh, ever so briefly. Yeah. Well, so, we're going to meet uh -huh. this guy, Gore, right? And all his people have died, and his daughter, too, even though he's been praying to their god. Okay. And then he meets his god, who it turns out is a big old jerk, and then he gets chosen by the Necro Sword and kills the god. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so now wow, Gore wow. has become the god butcher, and he's just gonna go on a rampage. He mm -hmm. wants all gods to die. Why? Well, he thinks they're all selfish, and they only care about themselves. Dang, well, it's gonna be crazy to see him going around butchering gods. Oh, yeah, uh, except, no, that is no. gonna be happening off screen. But yep. He's the god butcher. Yeah, so he's off He's off doing that. We're not going to see that. I would like no. to see it. No. Ah, dang it. Anyway, so then we're going to meet up with Jane Foster. <laughs> and what's going on with her? Well, she has stage four terminal cancer. Oh, my God. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah, but don't worry, sir. Everything's still going to be hilarious all the time. That's That, that wasn't no. my concern. No. Still plenty of jokes per minute, sir. Don't even worry about it. Right, okay. Maybe there no. shouldn't be in no. some parts. We're going to be not. cruising at a furious JPM. All right. You know those screaming goat videos from the internet? From like from like ten years ago. Oh yeah. boy, yeah, there was that. that. And a bunch of screaming goats the whole time. All right, I mean that was really funny ten years ago. I guess it might still be funny now. Well, I hope you do like it, sir, because if it doesn't land the first time, it's certainly not gonna land the next seven. Wow. Well, gee. Oh. So anyway, Thor finds out from Sith that Gore is butchering all these gods in amazing ways that I'm never gonna show you, and he's on his way to New Asgard next. Oh no. Yeah, New Asgard has become like super touristy. Like they have an ice cream shop called the Infinity Cones. It has like an infinity gauntlet theme. That kind of seems like it's in poor taste. No, it tastes fantastic. I mean, it's ice cream. <laughs> well, I mean, Infinity Gauntlet was used yeah. in like a worldwide tragedy that's uh -huh. kind of messed up for a theme. Yeah, nothing a little ice cream can't solve. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah okay. Sure. So Thor yeah, shows yeah. up to New Asgard and he sees that Jane is now also a Thor. What do you mean? Well, turns out back when they were dating, Thor had asked Mjolnir to protect Jane, so that's what he's doing here. Wow, well, it's gonna be cool to see her transform for the first time. Yeah, except no, that's off screen. That's off screen too. Okay, all right. Yep. So anyway, now she has this super cool Thor outfit, because that's what happens to you when you wield Mjolnir. That didn't happen to Captain America when he had it. Hey, shut up, and so then Gore steals all these children <laughs> and runs away. Oh, super rude. And so his plan is to lure Thor, because he just knows he's going to come to the rescue of these kids. He believes that all gods are selfish and only care about themselves, so his plan is to capture people that they care about, because they would definitely come help them. Uh yeah. Yes. Well, okay then. So Thor goes to the city where a bunch of gods live, including Zeus, and he tries to get them to help, but they're all scared of gore. Oh man, all these gods in one place? That's the perfect setup for a gore the butcher attack scene. Oh, you know it, sir. Anyway, no. Oh, no. so then they impale Zeus with his own thunderbolt and steal it and run away. Oh, impaling people and stealing their belongings is tight. No, it's... Oh, my God. No. That won't hold God, up in court, no. by the way. That wasn't an official oh, admission or confession. All right, so then they go fight Gore, and he steals Stormbreaker. Why? Well, it turns out that Stormbreaker is the key to the realm of eternity, where eternity will grant one person one wish. Oh, what's up? It just seems like maybe it would have been easier for Thanos to just go there instead of trying to gather all the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Or for the Avengers to go there, for that matter. It's 
instead didn't of know. inventing time travel. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about previous Marvel movies. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. So does Thor right. just summon Stormbreaker back? That's a thing he can do, right? Yeah, no, I guess it's not within his summoning range. He needs to change service provider. And then they find <laughs> out that Mjolnir is actually draining Jane's life force. So if she uses it again, she'll die. I thought Mjolnir was protecting her. Now it's killing her? Yes. Dang it, Mjolnir. What the heck? So Thor is like, all right, well, Jane, you can't... It's because, it's because she's immortal and it can only be wielded by a god, but by protecting her, it's also killing her. It's kind of a... Yeah. Fight with me, and also Valkyrie got stabbed, and Korg is just a face. He lost his body. Man, well, it's gonna be hard for Thor to fight Gore on his own. Actually, it's gonna be super, super easy. easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, he's not gonna be alone, actually. What do you mean? Well, he lends his Thor powers to all the kids, which is a thing he can do now. So they all fight Gore and his monsters. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so then our hero, you know, the guy with the army of child soldiers, attacks the bad guy, who's, you know, the guy who thinks gods should be nicer to people. That's, I... Uh, I don't know. Maybe don't phrase it that way. No, right, no, okay. The no. good guy fights the bad guy. Yeah, definitely yeah, keep it vague. That sounds yep. better. <laughs> anyway, then Jane shows up to help too. But she'll die. She does, yeah. But then Gore is so moved by their love when he makes his wish, he doesn't wish for all gods to die. What does he wish for? He wishes for his daughter to come back to life. But then he dies, so Thor kind of has a daughter now. Very cute. And mm -hmm. Korg has his body back and he falls in love. How did he get his body back? I don't know. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. But do you think maybe we're going a little too hard? on the Marvel humor? Sir, it's impossible to lean too hard on the Marvel humor. Trust me. Oh boy, has one of the MCU's worst Rotten Tomato scores. Oh boy, so... What I was alluding to earlier, let's, let's, let's get into that now, because this was kind of part of, you know, my problem with the movie. Uh, a lot of the jokes just really didn't hit for me. I was kind of uh, bored at times, and it kind of took away a little bit from my enjoyment from the movie. But uh, then afterwards, I, I was kind of, th I was thinking about like, because, you know, this is supposed to be like a, a setup movie or, or whatever, which is fine. You know, not all movies uh, can be like the main event in anybody's story. But what it sets up is truly incredible, just, ju just, just for me, really, because for the first time ever, we introduce uh, other gods. Gods from other mythologies have become now canon within the MCU, which is amazing for me because uh, I followed uh, Greek mythology when I was much younger. Uh, I followed a little bit of uh, Egyptian mythology. I'm also obviously heavily into Norse mythology right now. So seeing all of these different uh, gods within one place is pretty awesome. Seeing Zeus there... And then you see, well, I can't remember if it was the mid credit scene or the uh, or the end credit scene um, that had uh, Hercules actually being introduced. Which, if you don't know, he what he is actually a character within the um, within the Marvel Unis Marvel Unis the Marvel Universe already anyway. And now Zeus is going to sick uh, Hercules onto Thor, and that battle is just going to be absolutely insane though i'm not really a huge fan of him being a bad guy because most most of my knowledge of hercules is him being a good guy and that's even within the mythology and uh, throughout the the comics but um but yeah there's also more talk about uh space vikings and they said that uh, a few different times which, uh, I correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they've actually really said or really gone into uh, until this point. And also, what else is canon, which he didn't really mention, which was, again, either the mid-credits or end credit scene. They made Valhalla canon. We actually saw Valhalla. We saw uh, Jane Foster. She died. But then we saw her in Valhalla. And I honestly, from my knowledge of uh, Norse in, um, in Norse mythology, in like movie, TV show, whatever form, never really seen Valhalla, right? Like I, I'm almost all the way through Vikings. I've never seen uh, anything from like any sort of Valhalla scene in there. Um, I haven't seen Norsemen yet. Um... The sequel, the, the sequel series to Vikings, I haven't watched that yet either, but I'm pretty sure Valhalla hasn't been depicted anywhere. And that's very interesting to see just how they're going to incorporate Valhalla within Thor's story going forward. Because 
you know, she's still going to be technically an on-screen character, even though she's dead, which is pretty freaking amazing if you think about it. So uh, that's going to do it for me here. But before I go, though, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my $5 and up supporters on Patreon. Marvin Espinoza, Cruising, Wolverine 310, Multidisturbed 666, Jordan Byrne, Lauren Davenport, Capster Cronich, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshi, Chris Curtis, Angel Centillon, Gagadi Chima, and Santiago. And if you too like to have your name read at the end each and every one of my videos, plus many other fun goodies, if you have me react to a past pitch meeting or two, please head on over to patreon.com slash react. The link will be right there in the description. Or you can head right below this video, click that join button there, or head right over to my channel page and click that join button there. And if you'd like to have an easier way to get in contact with me, you can head on over and join the channel Discord, where you can chat with others about recent reactions that I've done, or to find out just a little bit more about me. And with that being said, comment down below. Let me know what did you think about Thor, Love, and Thunder. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, once you pass your reaction, I've done the other pitch meetings. A nice playlist right over there for them for you. Share this video. Subscribe if you have subscribed already. Read notification bell because I put new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>